I've had a dream for this school since the day we got here. And that was really achieving excellence. I mean, this school has the bones, and it's always had the bones, of just being such an excellent institution. An institution that has given my children a firm, firm, firm foundation in Jesus Christ. And my dream has been just to continue improving that and really bring true excellence to Hilton Head Christian Academy. And we're going to get there by redesigning the school, redesigning the way our students are educated. The FNI is a group that puts the whole package together. Their passion and their desire is to really get to know our school, get to know our community, and then get to understand our vision and our mission and where we're going and then build it so it uniquely fits who we are. We're gonna take what they have learned about designing 21st century education and we're going to make it fit what Hilton Head Christian Academy is. The model of education that is practiced across the world has become obsolete. Uh, it's actually a model that was invented between 1875 and 1925 and we're still stuck with that. I'm passionate about what we do because I've always been inspired uh, by nature and I grew up near the water around lots of trees and even dogs and cats and when I went to kindergarten at five years old all of a sudden I was in a building that felt like prison. I was told when to look straight ahead, when to sit down, when I could go outside, even when I could take a nap. It seemed crazy to me. It, se it seemed like a prison. Well, we like to say that there are only three building types where the users have very little say in their end product. One is schools, the other is prisons, and the other is hospitals. We adults, teachers, all have our association with the classroom as a place where the teacher is at the front of the room lecturing and students are receiving information somewhat passively. What we call cells and bell school. A cells and bell school is a school where Kids are in a cell called a classroom, the bell goes off and then they move to another identical cell. So we've changed that terminology, a classroom is really a learning studio which is more active. You have uh, high tables and low tables, it's flexible, strong connections to the outside. The ability to open up that space to another learning studio so that you can team teach or do a common area. Our, our philosophy always is that uh, learning is a process where the learner has to be in charge and that the teacher's role is more that of a facilitator, a guide, so to speak. So we have to practice what we preach. So when we work with communities, we always tell them that our job is not to tell you what you should do, but our job is to practice what we preach, which is to be on the sidelines as kind of guides, as mentors, and to really understand and extract from you what your ethos is. Who, what you stand for. So today was just a beginning, obviously. We want to know all about uh, your community. We want to know what the yeah, teachers are, are thinking, what students are thinking. So we do these uh, uh, learning walks. They, they want to know who we are. They want to know what makes us tick. They want to know where we are strong, where we are weak, where, we're, where we want to grow, where we want to go as a school. All the schools that we design all over the world are, are very different from one another. And it's all because of this unique um, experience that we have at each school and learning about what, what makes it tick. And that's what's exciting for us because as they do that, we become partnered with them in such a way that as we get into the actual design, uh, it'll be perfect for who we are as a school. I just think it's cool that they're partnering the design of the school with the way that we're going to teach and the way that things are moving in the 21st century. I've never seen architects really have such a partnership in education. Today's, today's kind of the internal self-assessment is probably the best phrase of, of really evaluating where are we, where do we want to go, and then the, the big the big takeaway of all this is, so how do we get there? So it's nice to just have a fresh set of eyes, and eyes that have seen not only nationwide what programs and best practices are working really, really well, but internationally. It shows like our personal view of how so we So every learn. school is different because every community is different, every culture is different, every climate is different. So our schools don't look the same because they ref truly reflect the the values of the school that we work with. One of the things we see is a school that's going to celebrate the low country and this fabulous environment.
and the connection to the to the sea and and the uh, the, the landscape, and we'll use much more uh, outdoor space because we don't need traditional classroom spaces in the same way we used to. This master plan that I told you about, we had designed. Was We've had a great opportunity this week to bring the team in from FNI, who is not local, show them the flavor of the Low Country see some specific sites, some areas that might be of interest that'll help inform what this new campus might look like, might feel like. Um, so to come into a place and learn about the culture, learn about the architecture, and then really try to find a building that meets the needs of the community but also reflects the values of the community. Well, the excitement is that we're actually starting to work on the design and the master planning and beginning to integrate the updated curriculum and 21st century education and marrying it to a new campus. So we're, we're really excited about the opportunity to craft an environment that in fact is uh, melded with what the learning principles are. Well, we believe that what Hilton Head Christian Academy stands for, the Christian values, those are going to be the fundamental things that make this world a better place. So I think that the foundation for this school is, is amazing. Second, we feel there's a confluence of events happening here, particularly your leadership, your teachers, your community, your parents, your students. And of course, you have this amazing new site. And we feel that all of these things have come together in a, in a way that you might even call grace. And we feel that uh, we can be uh, partners in uh, bringing you to the next level of uh, excellence. You're already there in, in many ways, but in, in a way I think you are what you might call the best of the old, and you want to be the first of the new. And not only that, you want to be a, a shining beacon that sort of um, is a model that other Christian schools from all, or, all around the world, not just the United States, can follow. The schools we design allow students to say, uh, what do I want to do with my life? What's important to me? And to take charge of that and have a sense of autonomy. We are the spokespersons for kids. Kids' voices need to be heard when it comes to schools. So we are their advocates. And we believe that what's good for kids is actually good for the community. It's good for the town. It's good for the city, the country. And of course, it's good for the world. The bottom line, the end result of what we're looking for is a student who graduates, who is well prepared, who has a firm foundation in Christ, and is well prepared to face the world. Hilton Head Christian Academy this is going to be an elite destination school. It's going to be a school, Lord willing, the students that come through will be so well uh, equipped and trained and, and taught to think critically and to collaborate and interact with others in such a way that colleges will desire them, jobs will desire them, and, and they'll be able to truly go impact the world for the glory of God.